Welcome everyone to another video. So this is my HD Big Eagle made by Noirs. He did the plates and stones. I had them painted and leathered separately. So they only arrived well plated without the paint. The paint and the leather was done separately. But let's get straight into the uh, plates there. So we've got the uh, WWF block logo there. In the middle, the prominent part. And we have the sunburst patterns coming out from the center of the eagle and to the side of the plates. It's a lot of bootleggers. Obviously, this is a bootleg, but a lot of the some of the art is incorrect. Where in this case, the sunburst patterns coming out from the center of the eagle, but in other arts, you see the sunburst patterns coming out, sort of in these sort of directions. I did have a big eagle like that. When I first came into belt collecting, not knowing what the difference is, but obviously this is a lot better. You've got the stones there. I'm going to put the flash on so you can see the sparkle. So these are cubic zirconia stones that Noir's put on. They do have a backing to them, which I don't like. I do like a clear backing to the stones, but I might get these uh, replaced at some point. But I'm in a hurry to do that. But the angry looking eagle there. Um, another difference in inaccurate art is sort of that area of the eagle, the neck, and also the uh, texture within the arms or the shoulders of the eagle. That texture should be there for the block logo version. And there's many forms where the inner feathers are not as well etched, but this have a, a nicer, deeper etch, which makes those stand out. Let's have a closer look at those. There you go. You've got the feet. So we've got the outer feathers there. Real nice look. The, the big eagle does pop out nicely. You've got the glow. And this is another point. If you want to go for accurate art, have a look at the globe and compare it to the real versions of the big eagle. This seems to be the correct version. I've cross checked and this seems very accurate. Then you've got the smaller globes on either side with two stones above them. Right, coming towards the bottom of the globe, we have the World Wrestling Federation banner. This, the wording has been etched into the plates and painted in black. Then we have these sort of, you could say, sunburst patterns or pointed arrow patterns coming out. Giving this nice prestigious look. It is a deep etch. I wouldn't say it's the cleanest etch, but it, it is a very nice deep HD etch to the plates. And then we have the Latin wording. Now these ones that you need to check properly if it's coming out correctly, is it's got a nice depth there as well. And you can see the lettering is really nice. Then on the side there, Meaning champion. It's coming out a bit. Then we've got the big champion banner at the bottom. Prominent part of the plate. You can really tell this belt is for the world champion. Then we've got some sunburst patterns coming out from the edge there. Then we have the sidebars. So these are cut out on the actual TV version. There was, but at the top there, there were joint and painted in blue, but you couldn't really tell. But I like I like this cut out. They they look quite nice like that. And this was quite controversial. Stone Cold, uh, one of these broke off, and this and it also made him bleed. So he got his own belt made, the Smoking Skull, which was a temporary replacement of this belt. There you got the uh, bars there, which sort of hang out quite nicely. 
So that's the main plate. Let's move on to this side. On the side plates, you've got um, sunburst packs coming out from the center of the line, holding a shield with the WWF logo, the block logo. Very nice um, texturing done in there by Noirs. Then you have the smaller side plate with a WWF block logo there in the middle. Very nice deep patch to these plates. Show one person this belt and he thought the plates were made by classic shields. I don't know they're, they're made by Noirs. Pleasantly surprised. Moving on to the other side. Again, it's the same line flipped the other way around with the, this time we've got a block logo at the top. See the details of the line come out really nicely. And then we've got the McMahon family crest and you can see that the, uh, the writing in the banner there is coming out. Now that's a hard one, well, it's not a hard one, but on SD belts, it doesn't come out well, uh, depending on the quality of the acid, it can be sort of blown away, but this has come out fine. Now this is red banner, that's accurate, according to what Stone Cold and Kane held, but the one that Arnold Schwarzenegger held, I believe that was, that had a blue banner instead of the red. Okay, so when I got the paint job done, the person that did it painted it blue, sent the photos, like, no, it should be red. They cross-checked and it was true that it should be red, so they changed that fairly quickly. Um, again, we've got the outer side plate, which is the same on the other side. I'll just put the flash on there so you can see the stone. Then we have the WWF uh, logo plate or the property plate. Very nice. JMI 1998. I'm showing you at different angles so you can see the depth of the etch and the quality of the etch there as well. Moving back to the side of the side plates. There we go. Now let's move on to the leather. So, um, the leather was done here in Europe. Very nice quality leather, very nice soft feel. To this a nice thickness. Um, we've got the JMA style shell tooling all the way around the top and the bottom of the main part of the strap. The JMA version seems to have a slightly longer um, shell tool pattern than, than you would on the uh, the Midwest versions. There's a nice depth to the tooling there. Shows the quality of the leather. So we've got the 2 by 10 snap box there. Or the snaps, the female, uh, male snap, sorry. 2x10, which is TV accurate, that's how they should be. You can see, you know, the when you look at the photos of the videos online of Kane and Austin holding these, it looks really, really good. And got the 2 by 7 on the female side. I can see the snap boxes there, um, very lightly tooled as it was done by JMA. It really makes the uh, light shine and reflect on both sides. Now with, with, with this belt, you 
the blue color of the strap. Um, so some people say it should be the same color as the pink in the block logo there. Maybe that's true. But when you look at pictures online or videos online, they're not very clear. So it's very hard to tell what the color of the strap should be. Sometimes it appears the same color as the paint in the block logo there. Sometimes it appears a bit lighter. Sometimes it appears a bit darker. Obviously with Stone Cold's tender loving care with the beer and everything all spilt over it. And then you had the bloodbath, um, it gave a very, very dark color. So even with this particular leather color or the blue shade, uh, now it does appear as it is in, in, in person, as it's appearing in the video, but depending on the light, the strap does appear to be darker at times and it does appear to be lighter at times. So that's what makes this belt even more it's exciting to work with. So let's turn this over and see what the other side of the backing is like. Right, here we go. So we have, so this may appear a bit brown or black on, on the video. It is, okay. So it's, it's real leather cow hide with croc, is embossed with this croc pattern. So it is real leather um, sourced from Europe. It gives a really nice feel to to the backing there as, as well. Very surprised and pleasantly surprised that is how well it came out. It is that sort of red brown color. It's not quite brown, not quite red. It's not burgundy. It is sort of a mix much in between. You can see the edging has been sealed really, really well in this. And it is very, very flexible. You can see the sort of the bar comes out a bit like the winged eagle. It gives the strap a bit of give, just having that there, but just be careful in case that gets the bolt snap off. Real nice backing. So you can see how soft and flexible the leather is. I was to hold this up. It does sit quite nicely. Right, so that is the Big Eagle. So this is one of my favorite designs of any belts and of the Big Eagle version Aesthetically, this is one of the most beautiful designs that's been done for the Big Eagle. Obviously, you've got the Scratch logo versions, you've got the different versions of those on black leather with different types of backing. But this one looked really, really good on TV when it was debuted the night after the Raw after WrestleMania 14. A real nice change towards going into the Attitude Era. From the winged eagle you know, the winged eagle has always been my favorite this comes very close if not on par with the winged eagle right so there we have it the review of the block logo big eagle championship belt please do share the video with others please comment and like i do appreciate that please follow the channel. If there are any questions, please put them in, in the comments below. But again, very nice plates, excellent paint job, very good paint job and outstanding leather. So if you are thinking about getting a belt made from Pakistan and you want decent leather, I'll probably, what I do now is just get the plates and get the leather from someone else, or even get the paint from someone else as well. All right, so thank you very much, and I'll catch you later with another video.
Thank you.